season and we've got a good one in store between the Oakland Raiders and the Kansas City Chiefs. Carry for Latavius Murray. Able to shake free for about seven up to the 35. First play of the drive. Let's give credit all around. Excellent blocking, but a guy carrying the ball. He was the finisher. A really nice run. And after the play on the ground, that brings up second down here. They go with Murray again. And unable to get downhill there as he'll take this up to about the 37. They got two of the three they needed there. Leaves them with third and just a yard. And Mr. Cooper, Amari, a headliner in this offensive unit. Brandon, it's rare that you get guys so polished coming out of college. But Amari Cooper has carried himself like a pro probably since he was six years old. He is a terrific talent. Car to throw on third and one. And he'll have his man. That's Cooper. And he brings this up to the 46. Good enough for the first. And fits the exact right word. Over the middle, there's almost always traffic. So anytime you're a receiver in that area, you're not just focused on catching the football. You're wondering where the collision's going to come from, right? Because there's almost always someone there able to concentrate, catch it, and even added a little extra the end with a short run. Car now on first down. And he'll hit the slant route. That's caught by Cooper. Give him nine there on the first down completion. And he's already got two catches on the opening drive. <laughs> they know he's going to be a handful. And sometimes you game plan for that offensively. You want to make sure that guy touches the ball. And sometimes it just happens naturally. And then you change your game plan. When he has the hot hand, you keep going back to him because he's running routes with confidence as the game goes on. That was second down run for Murray. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. Two yards on the pickup there, but it's enough to give him a new set of downs. Second and one is often an invitation to take the big shot downfield. I bet the offensive lineman said, are you kidding? We just get on our backs and let's go get the first down. They love being physical. So here we go, first and 10 now. Again, it's Murray. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. And a glance now at the Chiefs' defense. Eric Berry's a textbook definition of ball-hawking safety. You name it, he can do it on the football field. Thank <laughs> you. 
They'll run it now out of the gun. And an alley to run. And he's able to get most of what he needed on the carry there. Seven yards on the gain. And it's third and two now. This drive is turning into an extended one. And, and the guy carrying the ball, he's becoming more like a body blows guy. Every carry is putting some damage on the defense. So after a while, I'm not too sure how many guys are going to want to run up and tackle him. It's been a seven-play opening drive, and this is third and short. Carr looking to throw on third and two. He's going to leave this for his running back. It's complete. And he's got the first as they'll bring him down at the 28-yard line. And they're getting him involved early. You feel like they saw something on tape or they just have a sense with him because he's had a good week of practice or something in that area that they want him involved, just as you said. They want him to touch it either in the running game or the passing game, but they must like the matchups they're getting. On first down, Carr. To the right side, he's got Cooper, it's complete. And they'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. Give him 10 yards on the pickup, and that'll make it second and a foot or so. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. Now this will be the ninth play on this drive. They'll give it to him right up the gut. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. It'll go as a gain of six that time, and it moves the chains as well. That's a good, nice, crisp run for a first down. I wonder if the defense might have been loosened up a little bit, maybe anticipating a pass instead of the run that they got. And this seemingly endless drive continues. And no press coverage here. They are backing off in the secondary. And he'll give it here to his running back. And now they're going to get him down right at the line of scrimmage. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. Sometimes play calls boil down to philosophy. You know you're facing one of the top ten units against the run in the NFL. So do you decide to keep smashing against them, or do you decide to throw the ball here? And the offense behind the chains here, a touch on second and 11. All right, here we go. Red 18. Red 18. Carr. That's going to be caught at the 10-yard line. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. That time they hit him out of the slot on the drag. And that route takes some fortitude from the guy running it because he knows... He's going through the briar patch, as I like to call it, right? He's trying to work his way through all that traffic and people wanting to put a little contact on him. Really well done. Well, just play after play after play on this long drive for the offense. And an extra DB here for the Chiefs on third down. Pass situation. Throwing his car on third down. And incomplete, a disappointing drop there defensively by the rookie. And now fourth down. Now Mason Crosby on for the field goal. From the left half, should be a fairly easy one here. And the 11-year veteran bangs it through. And the Raiders jump out to a 3-0 advantage. So they get the field goal, but part of that was a 14-play drive to get the three. Normally when you hold the ball that long, run that many plays... You end up in the end zone. There's a breakdown on the defense. Something happens. In this case, that didn't. But really good ball control by the offense. They're hoping that they can wear them down if they keep having drives like that. They come out here in the eye. They'll 
Give it to him right up the gut. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. Cleo Mack starting to get a really big-time reputation as a pass rusher, and rightly so. So explosive off the edge getting to the quarterback. But he doesn't neglect his run duties as well. How about that tackle right there? Such a package he has. Able to play the run and the pass so well. safety valve here that's complete and they'll get it all the way out near midfield to the 45 a big play that time on the catch and run and the Chiefs are going to get a fresh set of downs so after that big play let's see if they can catch their defense maybe on their heels to throw now on first down over the middle and into the hands of his receiver Macklin. A nice pick up there of 11 yards and it'll move the sticks. And that's one of his advantages of a passer is it now with his height setting back there in the pocket firing it over the middle. He can really see everything clearly. It is and I know that other quarterbacks get it done different ways. All right, You don't have to be his height to make a great play but what he does is he takes away having to make those slide steps in the pocket to find angles to throw the ball through. He just throws right over the top of it because he can see everything, and sometimes that saves time and gets the ball to a receiver quicker. All right, here we go. Blue Blue they go play action here on first down. And he finds a man with a crossing round. Back now with Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon as the Chiefs in possession of the football as we begin the second quarter. And they'll come up looking to keep this drive moving. Completed pass play. Now let's see if they go back to the air or to the ground. All right, here we go. They'll run it now out of the gun. Only a gain of a yard there, but it indeed gets them a new set of downs. All week in practice, they stress grounding, pounding the football, and they really executed it well there to get the first down. That usually means getting back to being physical in practice because when you emphasize pounding the football, it doesn't really come together unless you practice it the same way you're going to play it in the game. That means more bodies, more pads, and a whole lot of popping last week, and they got it done in the game. And all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. Tyreek Hill, his sixth touchdown of the season, and the Chiefs have taken the lead. And when a Hail Mary is completed for a touchdown pass like that, I think any defensive coordinator just puts their face right into their hands. I don't think there's any doubt about it, and I don't have stats in front of me. I don't have the empirical numbers that say that in recent years, the Hail Mary pass has been completed more than it has been, but it feels that way, doesn't it? And I know the defenses are spending more time on it. I think the biggest mistake they make is that they play everything from behind the receiver. I think they've got to start getting people in front as well to try and knock the ball away. And now here come the Raiders. And they had three points last time, but they didn't want three points because they were well within range of scoring a touchdown. We'll see if they can do better now. I'm with you on that one. Let's just go ahead and be frank about the whole thing. The only one happy about the three point the kicker. Exactly. <laughs> he put it through the post. That's going to help him in contract time. But that offense, they're thinking, let's get in the end zone this time. I don't know if that helped him in contract time. You, you could have kicked that one through. I don't know about that. <laughs> toe bash. I don't know about toe that. Bash. <laughs> Super toe. <laughs> now, under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Dontari Poe in there to get him, and that's sack number eight for him on the year. Well, they go play fake. The problem is nobody was faked out. <laughs> and when no one's faked out, what's the end result? Quarterback gets hit. <laughs> Second down, here's Carr. Fighting through. He gets this one to Michael Crabtree. 
And he's brought down after a good game. A good pick up there, 26 yards. Boy, the evolution of the game and how these guys on plays like that can get out of the pocket, keep plays alive, it just makes things so much harder for defenses. It really does, and we're talking about an era in the game where the quarterbacks are the most athletically gifted that we've seen in a bunch. I mean, when you talk about collectively, it's unbelievable. So their ability to move is practice now. It's not necessarily, oh, he just took off and you guys figure it out. When he takes off, everyone knows where to go now. They know how to run routes, change things, make themselves presentable for the quarterback. It's a lot of time that they put in on it. It's not just your static one, two, three. This is where the ball goes anymore. Now Carr throwing on second down. Throw left side to the tight end, Walford. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. And now the passing game here in the second quarter starting to heat up a little bit. Don't you feel the rhythm starting to happen, right? You see it now. The confidence is starting to rise. I think now as a play caller, because that has happened, you lean on it a little bit more. You don't go totally away from running the football. But you do say, guess what? We can throw it. We can throw it well with a whole lot of confidence. They'll come out in the pistol. We ready? Wide and eight. Wide and eight. Zebra. Zebra. On first and ten, here's Carr. And he's going to find his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And give him 17 yards that time as that'll move the chains. And those first downs do add up. The offense keeps the ball moving downfield and keeps their defense on the bench, giving them a chance to rest. So the offense has it first and 10. again the Raiders are back out in front well partner that was another explosive run and one thing I've learned in our time in this game yes the offensive line has to get a lot of credit but for big runs to occur the wide receivers have to block well downfield and then you have to have a good guy carrying the ball too right oh without a doubt you need that difference maker lugging the rock on as the Raider kickoff unit now as they will send this one away this fielded at the two and he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. And now here comes Kansas City. And that last drive, a long drive. But not just that, they had a great air attack going. Do they stick with that? I would think that they would because if they were confident enough to do it on the last drive, starting backed up in their own territory, why would you change anything? They've got to be confident about what they're presenting and continue to do so. Yeah, because the secondary, they really look clueless. And that was amazing because that drive went and went. No adjustments and no big plays by the defense to knock the ball away. Cuts it out here, left sideline. <laughs> and they finally get him, but not before he reaches the 33-yard line. Well, every quarterback, especially a rookie quarterback, loves to have plays like that from a guy running the ball. Takes a lot of pressure off the youngster, doesn't it? He doesn't have to throw the ball in bad situations. Just turns around, hands it to his big horse, and we've seen rookie quarterbacks ride great runners right into the playoffs. And a tip there altered the ball flight, and it falls incomplete. It'll be second down. So much of this game is about leverage. We always talk about low man wins in the trenches. Well, it's like that in just about every position. And sometimes if you lose that leverage and you're losing the battle, just jump up at the line of scrimmage and try and bat the ball away. And that's exactly what happened there. All right, here we go. 319. He'll try again with the arm here on second down. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. Call it a pickup of seven, and that'll bring up a third down. He's already proven to be a factor in the running game on this drive. Now he gets involved in the passing game. I think what we're seeing here is the modern version of workhorse in the NFL, being able to run it and catch it with equal proficiency. Hurry up, here we go. On third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. 
We know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away. But the bottom line is, that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. And Santos able to put this one up and through. It's good. And with that, they'll take a one-point lead here in the second. So a good snap, good hold, and that one's right down the middle. Never in doubt. Just the way you used to hit them, Brandon. <laughs> this will be taken to the back of the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. The Raiders offense now making their way back out onto the field. And they're going to need another score. Got one last time, but still down here. When you're playing catch-up, every possession becomes crucial, doesn't it? It's vital. Get back out on the field. Punch it in the end zone again. They know it's not easy, but what they do have going for them, they did score the last time. They think they've got a good formula working. And what about the defense? Well, now you're just saying to yourself, okay, we gave up a score last time. What adjustments do we need to make to slow them down now and get the ball back for our own offense? Is it more pressure? Is it more zone? What do they have to do? They're trying to figure that out themselves. We'll see if they can figure that out right here. It's a tried and true formula, and I don't think it'll change for as long as we play football. If someone's trying to throw the ball and you can put pressure on them and make it tough, that's only going to help your defense. Yeah, he's since being hurried. He got rid of it before taking the hit, but incomplete. Again, we'll see the pistol here. And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. Time running out here on the play clock. They'll run the counter with Murray. And he'll fight forward to about the 27-yard line. He only got a couple on that one, so not a ton of help. They'll have a third and eight forthcoming. Tough day. Tough sledding right there, and it's been that way the entire game. Not a whole lot of room to ramble for him. Yeah, you're right. It's been that way all afternoon. Didn't get a whole lot better there. And the Chiefs showing a dime look as they defend this third down. Throwing his car on third down. And that's complete to Walford. And they're able to convert on third with a solid gain of 23. And in this weather, and I know you weren't a quarterback, you were on the defensive side of things, but how hard is it to throw that football? It can't be easy because you never know how the moisture is going to affect things, and each quarterback handles it differently. Some of them are a little bit better than others. Depends whether we're wearing a glove, not wear a glove. How cold is it? You know, all those things go into it. But it goes to everything else. Keeping your footing when you're running routes. Supposedly you have the advantage as a receiver because you know where you're going. But that's not easy as well. Finally, just locating the ball when it finally comes through the snow. Kids love it. Kids love snow. Players, not so much at times. We can talk all we want about football being a game of strength and brawn. It's also a game of mismatches, and they're trying to create one there, getting it to their back out of the backfield to make a bigger play. As we often say, get it to him in space, let him use his leg. Yeah, if, if he can get a matchup against a linebacker or maybe a defensive end dropping out in a zone blitz, he's going to win that battle just about every time. before he's brought down. They pick up 12 on the play there, and they move the chains. When you execute a drag or a crossing route really well and give them a chance to let it develop a little bit, you can gain some significant yardage hitting your tight end on that one. zone it's car a right side catch by crabtree five yards on the catch there brings up second down good throw good catch but i really like the route the drag and being able to run away from defenders hard to stick with them for that long yeah better against man than zone or better against man because now you're running away from someone and you're not running into a defensive player in another zone again they'll throw with car that's going to be caught at the 10-yard line. 
And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. I know many people like to throw to the tight end, maybe in a little flexed-out position because he creates mismatches with his size. But slot receivers do the same thing with their quickness, their speed, and their route-running savvy. First and goal from the five. They'll try to run it in with Murray. And he fights his way into the end zone for a Raider touchdown. Latavius Murray with his 16th touchdown of the year. And the Raiders have retaken the lead. And while that touchdown does not give them an insurmountable lead, it's still a lead, and that always feels good to a team. They'd love to take that into the lockers, but a little time left on that clock, so some work to do. I like that. I like how you're guarding against a letdown Marty there. Marty looking forward. Coaching them up from right up here in the booth. On is the Raider kickoff unit now as they will send this one away. This will be taken in at the one. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. And out come the Chiefs now. And what do you think goes on here in this situation? If you got the football, you're trailing, you're back in your own territory with just a little time. Do you try something? You're thinking about jump-starting your team, right? You just mentioned it. They're down. They're trying to get back into the game. But you've got to figure if something goes wrong, you may have put yourself in a spot where you may not be able to come back in the second half. Set, Managing three, risk three, this is a big decision three, here. Go on, go on. Go on, go on. They'll come out throwing here on first down. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. All right, now, look at 56. Look Let's at go. 56. Out of the gun. They'll look to throw. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. A plays like this. Now, whistles and the Raiders are going to signal for a timeout. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. Set! Green 39! Green 39! They'll run it now out of the gun. And some room to roam now. Now the Raiders are going to use another timeout here. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. This offense really put themselves in a tough spot on first and second down and needing long yardage to try and pick up a first down. And they ended up getting a great run. Explosive, picked up nice yardage. You don't expect to be in this situation on fourth down. But guess what? It all started with what happened on first and second down. Really put them behind the eight ball. 21 yards. Well done on the return. And possession will change here with very little time remaining until halftime. And they're going to go soft on the corners. We ready? Red 18. Red 18. Throwing on first down is Carr. This one caught left side by Cooper. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. Offense comes to the line now, first and ten. Another pistol look here. In motion, left goes Crabtree. On first and ten, here's Carr. Deep drop, looking deep in the direction of Cooper. Amari Cooper, the intended target. And now it's second down. Oh, man, that was close. The opportunity to change momentum. Big play, right in his hands. Unable to come down with it. A sigh of relief, no doubt, on offense. If that fell harmlessly to the ground. Unable to connect on the first down pass play. Now it's second down. We ready? Ready? The final shot here before half for Carr. Flushed out right. And he'll just chuck this one up into row G. It's incomplete. So we've come upon halftime here in week 17. As we'll send you down to Orlando as we check in with Larry Ridley and our EA Sports Halftime Report. Larry, both teams appear ready for the fight ahead and we resume action here in quarter number three. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Here comes the Chiefs offensive unit as they'll have...
Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage look defensively. They come out here in the eye. And they'll go with a ground attack here. And he's going to get about seven yards on that one up to around the 33. Some runs are blocked so well, you almost forget that someone has to carry the ball to gain the yardage. The leverage by the offensive line to create space up front, really well done. See if they stay on the ground for second down. They'll come out in the pistol. And to give this time to the tailback. Only three there on the pickup, but that's enough to move the chains. Not too many more ideal situations at second and two in order to try and pick up a first down. They ran it and picked it up. First down and ten now for the offensive group. And they'll run it here. Looking for an opening, not much there. He'll get it to the 39. A gain of three, second down. We always like to talk about defense in terms of levels. First level defensive line, second level linebackers, third level defensive backs. On that run, that was what we call a first level run, and it was stopped by a second level player. They'll put two receivers left, two to the right. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. So it goes as a fumble, but the key thing, not a fumble loss. Yeah, that, that stat's big, isn't it? I mean, it, I remember watching teams play. The ball might be on the ground a number of times during the game, but the other team doesn't get it. That's a huge difference in the ball game. And in this case, they were able to retain possession. It's a four-receiver look to the right side. All right, now, look at 56. He's going to go for a big play downfield. Travis Kelsey, the Pro Bowl tight end, the intended target. And that'll bring up a fourth down. Here's the Chiefs punter now. On for his second punt. He'd take a repeat of his first. He gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. Fielded just inside the 30. It'll be a 40-yard punt, eight on the return, and the Raiders will take possession. A look at the offense now here, coming back out on the road for their first possession of the second half. They were able to get the ball back here, didn't surrender any points. Now they'll look to add to that lead. Now how about the boost the defense gave them? Going right out on the field, shutting them down, not giving up any points, and turning the ball back over. They want to do their part now and show them a little respect and some gratitude <laughs> by scoring some points. And to get a little more cushion. here on first down and it's a short one here complete to the tight end and he'll go down right around the 47 this time 10 yards on the pickup there and it'll be second down seeing that play and understand just how tough it is to cover tight ends especially the ones running around the nfl nowadays makes me glad i didn't make it in that league i would have had a really difficult time but now you get to sit up here with me yeah and that's fun isn't it <laughs> and what a really nice game right there on first down for them brings up a nice second down for them Back to throw. Caught left side to Crabtree. And he's brought down. 15 yards there for number 15. Fresh set of downs here. One receiver to the left is Cooper. They go play action here on first down. Over the middle, Amari Cooper, it's complete. And they're able to get this one past the 30 down to the 25. 
One thing I can say pretty safely, that route is not called if you don't have a guy who can throw the ball and put some mustard on it. Because if you're going to lollipop it in the middle of the field, bad things usually happen. It takes a strong-armed guy who can rifle it in there, and they were able to successfully complete that one. It's a five-receiver set. Three to the right, left, two to the right. First down, he'll drop to throw. And he rifles one incomplete. Amari Cooper, his intended receiver, and it's second down. I hope I don't sound too rah-rah on that one, but that's the exact right throw. Either your receiver gets it or no one gets it. Give him a lot of credit for being really precise with it. Got rid of it. No one got it. Try again with the arm here on second down. Rolling to his right. He's going to go up top for the end zone. Oh, he almost had it for the pick. A great chance there for the interception in the end zone. Instead, third down. Offense trying to avoid stalling out, facing a third and ten. Defense really showing respect to the deep ball here, playing off the receivers. On third down, he'll drop to throw. And the Chiefs are going to get him. Dontari Poe in there to get him for sack number nine now on the year. I remember when I was a kid and all I wanted was a nickel so I could get that soda down at the fountain. And guess what? The nickel came into play well. Five defensive backs. They covered well, allowed for the sack. Sodas were a nickel when you were a kid? No, I just needed the extra nickel oh. so, I pay the, so I could pay the proper price. Okay, how much were they, a dime? <laughs> what were they? Uh, 15 cents. So it's only three points on this opening drive of the third quarter. And even though that stretches out the lead, Charles, I think you'd have to consider this a win for the defense, no? Couldn't agree more, Brandon. That offense got themselves in prime position to really open up this ball game, but the drive stalled out. And yeah, three points is very easy to get back in today's NFL. Way back to the yeah, Joseph. Not a big run on the first play of the drive, but that doesn't necessarily mean it was a bad play. Sometimes you're just trying to settle in, get your guys a little bit of contact, and get things moving. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. And this is Michael Floyd complete. And they're going to get this one all the way out across the 45. And a nice pitch and catch to pick up the reception against man coverage. Both of them read how much yardage they needed, figured what they had to do, and were able to beat the man coverage for the completion. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. throw now on first down going up top so they took a shot on first down but couldn't connect one of the toughest things about playing defensive back is pattern reading trying to figure out what they're doing and on that one they had to fly just sending a guy downfield with the in route accompanying it what people call a dagger route trying to hit the guy underneath after the clear out in this case though they're not able to get it done yeah, they said forget the underneath route. They went for the guy on the fly, but as you said, incomplete. He's got Floyd out left. The reception good for seven. It's third down. He decided to run a hitch route. It really helps to have a guy who can turn it loose. And boy, he rifled one in there on that one. Not much run after catch, but it worked really well. So completion on second down. That brings up third. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he's going to get this one down near the 45-yard line. He needed three, he got two. Now that'll set up an interesting situation here on fourth and a yard. Hey, 
And no move to get the offense off the field. They'll stay put on fourth and one. Now a handoff here to his running back. The Chiefs tried it, but they're turned away on fourth down. And the Raider D, they get the football back. So out come the Raiders. And fortunate to get points on the board last time. They had to hit a really long field goal to do so. The kickers in today's game are so good and so skilled and hit from distances that we almost start to take them for granted. And we can't do that. That's a long field goal that they got three points out of. They've got to feel good about that. And they better make sure they love him up because he's helped them out. Yeah, now we'll see if that offense can put six on the board here. We'll see. And third quarter here, you've got the lead. This is where that strong run game can really benefit you. Stayed in bounds there, kept the clock going. I like all the points you just made there. And if you throw the football and it's incomplete, now you've stopped the clock and you've helped out the guys on the other side of the ball. So keep it in the hands of those runners. Keep moving it. Keep grinding the clock. They'll drop the throw. He's going to get this one out to his fullback. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. And they pick up a first down, and that came out of the fullback position. But as you and I both know, that doesn't necessarily mean that's a fullback playing in that spot. You know, times have changed, right? The old school fullback doesn't really exist anymore. We're not getting that same player out of college with all the spread offenses, not very many pro style, where you actually have a true fullback. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. skill whatever the case is they're feeling good about just keeping the football there yeah the biggest thing that they're calling it now our ball <laughs> we don't care if it was luck or skill or the panic that jumps up in your chest when that ball's on the ground whether you get it or your teammate gets it just as long as you maintain possession that's all you're looking for A near turnover, but the offense recovers it. Now they'll try to regroup on second. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. Here's Wolford over the middle. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on. Catching the ball and not much run after the catch. like we've got a dime set here defensively six dbs in the game now they'll throw here out of the gun he's got time in the pocket shreds the tackle and this is going to be incomplete. The big tight end, Clive Walford, the intended target. Now fourth down. Here's Marquette King now, as he's on a punt for the first time this afternoon. Oh, it's a wobbler here. It'll be called just a 22-yard punt. Certainly not what he wanted. And possession will switch. Hands first and 10. The Chiefs offense now making their way back onto the field. And this offense last time turned it over. Went for it on fourth. Didn't get it. They're lucky, though, because no points against the team on the board. But we'll see how they respond. Yeah, they've got to give a lot of credit to their defensive teammates, don't they? They had their backs on that last series. And because they did so... That allows the coach to still stay aggressive on offense and maybe go for it again in a similar situation. I was say, maybe makes that offense feel good. But when you know you've got a defense making stands like that. Yeah, that'll loosen up things a little bit more. Maybe you'll play a little bit better the next time you have the ball. 
And let's not take for granted, in these conditions, that's never an easy pass and catch. You've really got to find a way to drive the ball. You know, get your grip. You know, that's why we see some of the guys now that put the gloves on when they, when they throw the ball in this type of a condition. Sometimes the glove might make it too slippery. So you've got to figure out what's going to work for you. But how about the receivers? Looking back and trying to locate the ball coming through snow and making sure they have full concentration. He's going to let this one go deep. And this is caught. And he will take it on in for a Chiefs touchdown. Tyreek Hill with his second touchdown of the game, number seven on the year. And the Chiefs are able to get this back within a touchdown. And it's no good. Well, that could be a critical miss here in a one-score game in the fourth. Now, after the touchdown, here's Santos to kick this one away. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And from back there, a wise move. He'll just sit on this one, and it'll come out to the 25. The Raiders offense now, they trot back out. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now, with a game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. They'll give it to him right up the gut. Trying to run inside, but nothing there. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. The fourth quarter here, they've got the lead. They want to keep it on the ground. That's what they're doing. Smart football. Keep the clock grinding. Keep it going. But you got to figure now, they're going to see more people stacked up in the line of scrimmage as they try and bleed it out. They come out here in the eye. Back to throw. And he will find his man on the outside. And they'll get nine there as that sets him up better for third down. Just a couple of yards shy of a first down here on third down. Let's go. Green 39. Green 39. They're going to look to throw. And this is caught. Amari Cooper. Five yards is the pickup there as that extends this drive. And that pickup of a first down, that's going to leave a mark because they really needed to stop them there, didn't they? Oh, so frustrating. Defensively, you're a play away from getting that football back here down late tough. Now they've got to find a way to create a turnover or takeaway. Otherwise, this one will probably get away from them. One receiver to the left is Cooper. They go play action here on first down. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. A good pick up there of 20 yards. And he went in route there from the slot for the completion. Love how he runs his routes because it's all setting up your defender. Give them a little something one way, take it the other way. Head and shoulder fake. Sometimes you make one step to the outside, then break it inside. Really well run route. Now they'll run it on the toss. And he is going to lose yardage here. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. And in this situation with the lead fourth quarter, they're liking keeping the ball on the ground, I'm sure. That's just smart football, but you know the defense has to know it as well. They've got to stop them here. So now we're going to see that loading the box in a big way. Six, seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take. Puts a little bit more pressure on your big offensive line. One receiver left, two to the right. Now back to throw. Backing up. Now he'll escape to his right. And he will go down outside of the pocket for a sack. Tried to get away, but could not. Oh, that wasn't a sack. Come on. Around in the pocket. There was nowhere to go with the football, so he had to take off and try and run. He just got back to the line of scrimmage. No gain. And this offensive unit, they have to face a third down and 12 now. Check, check, check. Check, check, check. Here we go. Three, 
the shotgun. He'll look to throw. Cooper's got it. And he gets this one all the way down inside the 20-yard line. And they pick up 25 as they convert on third. So Amari Cooper out of Northwestern High School in Miami making a nice play there. And it's so funny that when I was going through the draft process when he came out of Alabama and was inquiring about him and his skills, they say it all began back in Miami. He really became a pro receiver at a young age because of his attention to detail and precision. But don't forget his athletic ability. That's what made that catch. Them. And he'll take it into the end zone for a later touchdown. A great effort there with his second touchdown of the game, fourth of the year. And the Raiders add on to their lead. Now Crosby for the point after. And it's no good. It has not been his day. That's the second extra point he's missed so far. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This fielded at the two. And he'll take this up past the 20 and down at the 22-yard line. And now here comes Kansas City. Last time they were out, they scored. Still trailing here, though, so some work to do. But it's okay in terms of mindset. Because they scored the last time, they're not quite as worried about being down on the scoreboard because now their confidence is a little bit higher. They feel like they've got something going, and they feel like they can attack again and put more points on the board. Are you scoreboard watching if you're the offense, or are you just focused on this drive? It, it, we wouldn't be telling the truth if we said that they didn't scoreboard watch. Everyone does it to some extent. But you've got to set it aside right now and just focus on this series. That'll take care of the scoreboard if they punch it into the end zone. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. They'll look to throw now on first down. Sideline throw, it's complete. And a nice job there of keeping the toes inbounds. If you're running out route, it's likely you end up near the sideline. And what did we just see there? The toe tap. You got it. The benefits of practice. Toe tapping, foot dragging, picking it up, and making sure it was a catch. To the right side, it's Kelsey. It's a gain of four there, and it gives him a new set of downs. Time for a break. We'll come back to wrap this one up after this. And the offense lining up first and ten. All right, here we go. Back to throw again. He's got Floyd on left. They'll get 16 yards there, and it'll give the Chiefs a first down. Everything about that play was beautiful. A great corner route where the receiver worked the defensive back inside and then broke back to the outside to the corner. But how about the throw by the quarterback? Anticipation on the break from inside to outside. He threw the football. As the receiver turned around, the ball greeted him. Kelsey out in the slot right. Back to throw. That's complete right around the eight. Four yards on the play, and that leads to the first and goal. And he's the epitome of what we call the move tight end. A guy that you can line up anywhere, in the slot, out wide, in tight. Doesn't really matter because he has such great skills. You want to utilize him in all aspects of your passing offense. And there he was in the slot for the catch. They come up in an empty set. Four wide receivers, one tight end. Again, he'll drop the throw. And this is caught now for a late touchdown. So hold everything here. This one's not over yet. And they put it in the end zone, which was job one. Now they have to convert. 
And then it's decision time, isn't it? Yeah, it's your, this is what all teams go through. You look at the clock, you're inside two minutes, look at your timeouts, make that onside kick decision. Yeah, how do you feel about your defense, where you are in terms of the scoreboard, and the time left on the clock, as you noted, so many things to go through. And the hands team for the Raiders able to secure it. A tough one there. They certainly wanted that when they needed it, but they didn't absolutely have to get it. They still do have three timeouts. You're exactly right. They had to attempt it. But even though they didn't get it, as you noted, with three timeouts, if they can get these stops on defense, all hope is not lost. And no press coverage here. They are backing off in the secondary. Now they'll run it on the toss. So now here's a defensive timeout called by the Chiefs. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. are going to signal for and be granted another timeout. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Let's see. The defense might bring some added pressure as the offense is dealing with a third and long. So he's on to punt it away. But they went for the big play there. But that drop could really hurt their momentum. And a great job on special teams to down it as this will be marked out inside the five-yard line. And now here comes Kansas City. They only need a field goal. Obviously, the clock a huge factor. They'll be watching that. What do they need to do here, Charles? Your sequence of plays has to get you out of bounds. Completions, get out of bounds, gain some yardage. Then when the clock hits seven seconds or left, now you've got a decision. Are you in field goal range or is it Hail Mary time? Because from seven seconds down, you don't want to take a shot that you're going to have another play. We'll see how they handle it. And now they're in the hurry up. Back to throw. And Hill with it over the middle. And he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. 12 yards there as they move the chains. And there they went crossing route against his own defense. What do you think of that? It takes real coordination between the passer and the receiver because you've got to read those zones and where the open spots are and be on the same page with the guy throwing the football. Because sometimes you're throwing it in front of the zone. Sometimes you're throwing it between the zones. Sometimes the receiver's going to just kind of find a spot and what we call sit down and present himself to the quarterback and throw it there. It's a tough read, but when they're in sync, it's really effective. They'll look to throw. Completes it over the middle to Floyd. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. That'll be their third and final stoppage here as we step aside. And how about the dime look here? Six DBs on third and inches. Daring them to run the ball. He'll look to throw. That'll be incomplete with nine seconds now showing on the clock. So he got his hands a little too far outside. The ref caught him through the flag. So a third and ten, and defensively, a dime look. Six DBs. 
Back to throw. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. Give him 11 yards that time and a new set of downs. The goal for them wasn't to simply make the postseason. They wanted to make some noise once they got there. Well, they made the noise all right. They're moving on. And to get deep into the playoffs, that's everyone's goal ultimately. Now it's a reality for them. Now they've got a chance to get to the ultimate goal. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hard-working men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gaunt. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. From Kansas City, so long, everybody. Later.